Hey everyone, welcome back to my Great Fall series. In this video, I'm going to be doing two things. I'm going to be showing you how to make some beautiful DIY glam pillows and giving you some brief information on colors. Okay, love, so I have my pillowcase that I'm going to be ironing my pattern on. I have a towel on top of my ironing board because my ironing board is kind of old and it's not too thick underneath there. So I have my, um, my towel and I have my pattern. This is the same vinyl, iron on vinyl that I used in my previous pillow DIY and I'll place a picture to my previous pillow DIY so you can see the one that I did before. So I'm just gonna place these in no particular pattern, meaning I'm not gonna have a ruler or anything like that. I'm just gonna place them on here. I'm placing them a little low down from the top because I wanna be able to karate chop my pillow and still see the pattern. So if anyone wants to want some of these particular patterns, just reach out to me on Instagram and I can make you some. It'll be a small fee, but I can make you some and send them to you and all you'll need to do is just iron your patterns on your pillow cover so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to iron my patterns on of course before i do that i'm gonna take another pillowcase and cover them up because this is plastic if you iron this you're gonna damage your your, your material and you're gonna put some plastic over your iron. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the pillowcase over my pillow cover. So you should be sure that your iron that is not on the steam control. Just make sure it's gonna just iron dry. And you just iron. So basically I iron for about one minute or a little bit more just to make sure that my vinyl was secure on my pillow and I just pull the plastic backing off and then there you go. You'll have your own personalized glamorous pillow. everyone this is for Lisa here with homebody I just wanted to share with you some ideas that I have on using colors now of course it's fall and this is a fall color for me I've always thought that you can use any color any time of the year if it's fall you can use pink purple blue white teal orange yellow in this case and i'm mixing it with teal silver and gold that's like what four maybe five colors that you're looking at in this room however in my eyes it's all flowing cohesively and i've had a couple people to ask me to do a video like this to explain how i use color and what do i what what am i thinking when i throw colors together now i'm not a designer I'm not an interior designer. I'm not professional. So you may see some things that's not in order as if a, as a professional would do it. But again, I'm not a professional at all. But when I'm decorating with colors, what I do is I don't use the color once in the room. It like, for instance, let me show you. Okay, let's start with the pillows. So I have those pillows that's on my couch. That's ones, and they're yellow. And then I have this pumpkin that's yellow. And then I have the sunflowers over here that's yellow. So if you're gonna use a pop of color in order for your room to flow cohesively, if you use that yellow pillow, those yellow pillows over on the couch, you need to use it in one or two other places. 
Now, I did hear one of my Instagram, this lady that I follow on Instagram, she recently mentioned this in one of her Instagram posts. And it's my way of thinking. You know, I just wouldn't have those two yellow pillows on the couch without having any other items yellow in the room. And then I could actually just use those two pillows in this yellow pumpkin here and be done with it. But, you know, I'm team too much, so... I had to have this sunflowers over here. So now we're, we're talking about the yellow. We've already talked about the yellow. So let's talk about the gold. So what do I have in here that's flowing with the gold? I have a few things. Starting with these pumpkins over here. I'm gonna leave the link below to these pumpkins just in case someone's interested. These pumpkins actually came from a company called lights.com and they were gifted to me actually and they're super cute. These are some mercury glass pumpkins and um, they light up and I'll cut them on at the end of the video so you can see how the room looks lit up. So I have the gold there and then I have the gold pillow which is a pillow cover and then I have my gold ginger jar here and you see the gold that's embedded in those pillows those pillow those pillows is a pillow cover it's a DIY if you're interested in seeing that DIY comment below and I will do a DIY on that pillow and then I have the pumpkins over on that end as well so you see the gold one two about three maybe four times in this room we're just making the gold flow cohesively in a repetitive fashion in this living room space. So let's talk about the teal. So teal, everyone who's been following me for a while knows that teal is one of my signature colors besides red. I love red. Red is my favorite color. So I try to use red like I squeeze it in like every season. So anyway, so moving back to the teal. So I have the two teal pillows on the end and what really flows with those teal pillows is the wall art that's on the wall. So that's really flowing together. And then I have the teal throw over here. So the silver is everywhere. So I don't need to speak on the silver. And then I also can mention the white because that's another color that's in the room. I have two occasions where the white is thrown in. Well, actually three, if you wanna be technical, it's three. I have the lamp over here, the white at the bottom of that picture, and the lamp over here. So those are my three instances where I'm using the white. So now, I could technically throw some more teal in here. Let me show you what I could do as far as to throwing some more teal. No, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let me show you. So there you go. So I can just throw that extra teal pumpkin on my table and it flows just perfectly well because I have those two teal pillows at the back, my throw, the wall art, and the pumpkin. So, for those of you who wanted to know how to work with color, all you need to do is make sure you have at least two to three items in your room of that color and your color workmanship will flow as if you are, you are a professional. So yeah. Now I'm gonna let you guys see how this room would look with the lights off because I wanna I want to showcase my new pumpkins that was gifted to me by uh, lights lights.com so but before I do that just in case I have some newbies that's watching the video or some visitors that needs to go ahead and hit that subscribe button <laughs> let me just tell you where the items came from that's in this living room so my lamps came from Z gallery I was so lucky to get those lamps because the Z, one of our local Z galleries was uh, going out of business and I scored these lamps. I think they were like 50% off. My coffee and end table set 
came from Rooms to Go at an excellent price. I think this set was like $4.99 and you still can get your hands on this for $4.99. The actual mirror came from Z Gallery and I actually, actually anything that I purchased from Z Gallery was actually on sale. Um, the actual accent chair came from Pier 1. It was a steal. The throw came from Z Gallery. The actual um, gold pillow covers came from Amazon. I'll leave the link below so you can shop my Amazon storefront. The bling teal pillows actually came from, I'm going to, they're teal, but they're kind of, you can call them cerulean. They came from Z Gallery. Love these pillows. They're super, super cute. Now, they don't have that. You can't karate chop these pillows, but who cares? Because these are some beautiful pillows. Now, I actually, one day I took these pillows and I put a feather feel cushion in there and I didn't like it. It just took away from the pillow for some reason. So I'm going to assume the designer of this pillow knew that using a feather feel pillow cushion would take away from the design of this pillow. So, as I had mentioned, this is a DIY. The um, pillow cover came from Amazon. And going back here, this ginger jar in the back actually came from Home Goods. And I have a little curtain tie back there. It came from Tuesday morning. The wall sconces that you see here actually came from Z Gallery. I haven't seen those in Z Gallery in a minute. So I'm either thinking they're either discontinued or sold out. Now they are stocking things back up because every, every day when I look on their website, I'm seeing different things that they've added. So this wall art actually came from Home Goods, really good find because they have stuff like this at Z Gallery for $5.99 and $6.99. I didn't even pay a hundred bucks, maybe 99 bucks for this wall art. So my drapes came from Home Goods. I love these drapes. I'm looking for another set. I say this all the time because every time I go to Home Goods, I go look at the drapes because I want to add to these so that my drapes can go all the way up to the ceiling. This piece here came from Pier One, Gonna Miss Pier One. The yellow sunflowers came from Hobby Lobby. The mirror vase at the bottom. Oh, that was a steal. I paid 19 bucks for that from Z Gallery. And the um, the ginger jar. I didn't talk about the ginger jars. The gold ginger jar came from Z Gallery. The silver one came from Home Goods. And either Tuesday morning or Home Goods. And the little squirrel candle holder came from Bath and Body Works. Teal pumpkin from Home Goods. Yellow from Hobby Lobby. The tray that you see down at the bottom holding the acorns came from Home Goods. And this rug was gifted to me by Ab Abani Rugs over on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you guys are missing some treats. I am so active on Instagram. I do so much on Instagram because it's fun. I just love posting pictures and little short videos. So, and my chandelier actually came from Z Gallery. So I'm going to show you how the room looks with my pumpkins lit up and that'll be the end of this video.